All right, so no, you're not gonna be greeted by a robot anytime soon or have a robot clean your teeth, but AI is definitely making its way into dentistry. How does this affect you? Let's talk about it. All right, so there are three purposes that AI is serving in dentistry right now, and I'll be going over these in depth. I just wanna give you an overview first. Patient education, basically helping patients better understand what's going on with their mouth. Also, dentist accountability as well as helping with the flow of documentation, you know, chart notes, insurance claims, all of that stuff. So in terms of patient education, AI is really helpful in terms of helping patients understand what's going on with their mouth. For example, take a look at this image on your left. Say a dentist tells you, hey, you need uh, this and this tooth filled. These teeth have cavities. You have some bone loss here and here, and you have a bunch of tartar you need a deep cleaning. And all you see is just black and white and a bunch of different shades of gray. Well, AI helps to break things down by kind of color coding everything, as you can see on the right, so that the patient can actually see what the dentist is talking about. So now you can more clearly see, okay, these areas are filling material, these are cavities, this is bone loss, these are bits of tartar, and then it becomes easier for the patient to understand what actually needs to be done. So that's one way AI is useful in the dental field. The other purpose I was talking about is dentist accountability. So basically all the information we put into this AI program, for example, goes into a centralized database and that really helps keep dentists accountable. So what happens is, for example, you know, you take x-rays and it goes into the AI database and then the AI calculates, you know, these teeth have cavities, these areas have bone loss. You get a bunch of x-rays of a bunch of patients and then in the centralized database, it can actually show how much of those uh, cavities that the AI has found the dentist is actually diagnosing or how much of the bone loss is actually being treated with deep cleanings or perio maintenance cleanings, etc. So for example, when I was watching this continuing education course about AI, the guy who was part of this AI software program said, you know, we had a dentist sign up for our program and they started getting all this uh, data with the x-rays and eventually they got this pattern back that the dentist was just diagnosing 0.4% of the perio cases that the AI was discovering. So basically 99.6% of the patients were walking out of that office with untreated periodontal disease. So this is how AI helps keep dentists accountable. Same thing with cavities. If the AI notices certain specific teeth have cavities, but the dentist actually diagnoses and treats a lot more than what the AI noted, I don't know, potential for a lawsuit or something. Now, before I move on, I bet one of you guys have thought about oh, I don't want my information to go into some centralized database. Yes, of course, all technology has a downside to it. But honestly, I'd rather some of my information about my teeth and my oral health be out there available for who knows who even cares. But I'd rather have that than some dentist working on my teeth and over treating or under treating certain conditions. So I'm all about the accountability. Okay, and then lastly, AI is super helpful in terms of the, the back end stuff, like the charting and uh, the insurance stuff. One of the things you've probably encountered as a patient is you go to a dentist and they tell you you need this, this, and this done. And then you have insurance and they say, we're going to process this with insurance and then we'll let you know how much it's going to cost. Here's an estimate. And sometimes it takes forever. And by the time they bill it, you find out that you didn't have enough funds or you already had this procedure done a couple of months back and you didn't realize it. It's not covered anymore. AI programs are helping to smooth out all those wrinkles and make your insurance information information available in real time, as well as all the chart notes and everything. One of the problems we have as clinicians is sometimes we have to dig through a lot of information just to see whether or not you need x-rays or some charting, you know, when your last deep cleaning was, if you've ever had one. Basically all this stuff can take, you know, 15 minutes per patient. And, you know, all of this stuff takes a while to sort through. Well, AI helps with that by collecting all that data and having it out in front of us just to read, you know, on the front page of your chart. You know, last time you had x-rays was this date, period chart was this date, deep cleaning was this date, this is what you're due for. And you know, we don't have to click through a bunch of files just to find all that information. So instead we can focus on doing a great job cleaning your teeth and also spend more time talking about what's going on in your mouth, what needs improvement, all that stuff. So again, no robots cleaning your teeth or filling your cavities yet, but that's how AI is getting integrated into dentistry. By the way, if you guys have any concerns or you foresee any issues with this, I'd love to hear your feedback. But otherwise, if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
take care of your teeth.